This is the story of Bobby Axelrod, the Troublemaker. Ready? Here I go with a story. Are you ever naughty? Well, sometimes I bet. Well, Bobby Axelrod was naughty. Looks like the best day for being naughty. <laughs> Laughed Bobby. One day, Chuck was making a statue of Chet from Turbo. I'm going to break that statue. <laughs> Just you watch. Laughed Bobby. Bobby broke the Chet statue. <gasps> My statue! Screamed Chuck. Bobby was jumping on the pieces. <laughs> Spino was having some ice cream with Steven Universe, but... Knock, knock. Who's that at the door? Asked Spino. But Bobby took Spinel's ice cream. Ooh, Cookie Cat, my favourite! Yelled Bobby. Oh no! Shouted Spinel. Poor Spinel did not have any ice cream. She only had an apple. The next day, Bobby put it rat poison in Peach's cake. Bad boy! You gross! Moaned Peach. Finally, Bobby threw eggs at Pearl's house. <laughs> what a lovely day, and it's not even lunchtime. <laughs> Laughed. The workers were having a meeting. Hmm, something must be done, said Chuck. Spino was holding an empty bowl, and Pearl was holding eggs. Hmm, I don't know who's a troublemaker. We will find out, said Chuck. At Connie's house, Bobby bought some paint. Oh no, was he going to paint Connie pink? This will teach her a lesson, ha ha ha, said Bobby. But the paintbrush started to chase Bobby around the city. Oh, curse you, Chuck! I knew it, screamed Bobby. After running for ages, Bobby was at Beach City. He wanted to do a prank outside Steven Universe's house. So Bobby knocked really loud, but he hurt his nose. <laughs> oh! What the heck? This is the fire! Leave me alone! shouted Bobby. Bobby went home to make his nose feel better. Jack Bauer was playing a board game with his daughter, but Bobby bought a balloon to jump scare Jack and Kim. Oh no! I hope Bobby Axelrod won't do that. But oh no! Bobby went up very high. Ah! Help me! Screamed Bobby. Pop! <coughs> Bobby Axelrod fell in the pool. His jacket and his clothes were very wet. Ah! Ew! I hate getting wet! Oh, curse you, Chuck! cried Bobby. But at Spinel's garden, Bobby was cured. He, he was full of love in his heart. No naughtiness from now on. <laughs> so sorry, said Bobby to himself. Bobby's eyes were flooding with tears. It has always has to be flooding with tears, isn't it? Just because some people do tend to cry as such. But anyways, let's just continue. But he promised Chuck and the others not to be naughty again. Spino was happy to have some ice cream again. Chuck did another Chet statue. Jack Bauer went back to see Terry. Also, Peach made some delicious cupcakes, and Pearl got her house fixed. So Bobby Axelrod Axelrod became a nice person now. He wasn't naughty anymore. The end. And we hope you enjoyed the story of Bobby Axelrod, the Troublemaker. Okay, now, before we end this movie, so, I have two things to say. Now, this was the first story 
of the Billions film of Act Bobby Axelrod, and also here's a more lesson up for this story, and that is never do naughty things ever again, because doing naughty stuff is no good. So don't do it, because consider yourself well truly told off. Alright, well I'll have to say goodbye then, and uh, see you again soon, and until then, bye bye for now.